Hey guys, today we're going to spotlight rose rosette and more specifically we're going to talk about what it actually looks like on the roses. Let's start off by talking about what the symptoms of rose rosette actually look like. Okay, today we're going to talk about the classic rose rosette symptoms. Um, one of the most common ones that you see is a witch's broom, which is where all the, thorn, the branches have kind of grown together in the rose. Um, and if you had taken all the leaves off, it would literally look like a broom. Um, another one that we're going to talk about is excessive thorniness. And while roses do typically have wooden thorns, the thorns that rose rosette causes are rubbery type thorns and they are much um, higher volume on the rose. Another one that we're going to talk about is um, thickened stems and canes. And this just means that the branches are bigger around and taller than normal. Um, the last one is a, a red to pink tie-dye on a rose. And when I say that, if you look at a stem, you can see what, how the stem it will be green on one place and then it'll start having a pink um, coloration up and down the stem and the leaves do the same thing. Um, Here is an example of what the symptom witch's broom looks like. This is an example of excessive thorniness. Here is a picture of stems that are thicker than they should be. This is what it looks like when there's red or pink tie-dye on the rows. Lastly, here is a depiction of distorted or deformed leaves. In this picture, you can see that the green thumbtacks represent the counties that have been confirmed to have rose rosette, the blue ones were tested and came up negative, and the yellow thumbtacks represent ones that have not been confirmed but our researchers are suspicious of. For more info, download the fact sheet called Rose Rosette Demystified at the AgriLife Bookstore. Thanks for watching and have a great What Wednesday!